Church TV! Welcome! Welcome to Bath! My name's Philip. Lizzie, my wife, is behind the camera. She really wants to be on Scruffy TV, but she's not scruffy enough. But she's a brilliant camera operator, so welcome to Lizzie. Welcome to you, wherever you're watching, whenever you're watching, you are welcome to Scruffy Church TV. It's great to see you. Before we start, we're going to have some shout outs. Now, Livy who's a wonderful, regular writer to Scruffy Church TV, lives with her grandparents, Roz and Georgie. At the bottom of her drive, she has this wonderful chalet and she makes a different scene in it every week for people who are going past to have a look at. And this week, she has made one for the NHS to say thank you to the NHS and all health workers and also care workers so people can go by and be reminded of how wonderful we're looked after by our health service and our carers. So well done, Livy, that's fantastic. Frederick in Bath is practicing the Scruffy Church TV song on his guitar. Good luck, Frederick, with that practicing. Do send us a film of you playing when you've practiced it. That would be wonderful and good luck with that. And Christian has already got the chorus of Scruffy Church TV on his ukulele. Let's listen to Christian. Hi. Scruffy, scruffy church Scruffy, scruffy church Scruffy, scruffy church We're God's family Thank you, Christian. That's fantastic. We look forward to you getting the verse as well. Now, on Scruffy Church TV, we get things ready at the beginning of the service that we're going to use through the service and today we've got quite a few things now these are the things we need for our prayer time so we need a blanket or something to wrap yourself up in and we're going to make a seesaw i've got an old piece of wood there and i'm going to use a pen for the seesaw but you can use whatever you like to make a seesaw with and then we need something really heavy to go at one end we all know what kind of tin of beans that is but that's going to go at one end something really heavy and a pencil as well i've got a lovely green belt pencil Sorry, Greenbelt won't be going this year for the first time for ages, for many, many years. But those are things for our prayer time a bit later on. Before that, we're going to need a piece of card or thick paper that you can write on both sides like that. And uh, some pens. You've got um, a, a black one, a brown one, and then some crazy colour, yellow or pink or something. So uh, those as well. And some scissors, some nice safety scissors or get a grown up to help you if you can't find safety scissors to cut something out if you need to. And this paper is just to protect your table. If you're gonna use pens, have something to protect your table. Wonderful. Now, as you know, at the beginning of Scruffy Church TV, we like to have a bit of quiet, a bit of a sit down and pray before we start. But today we're gonna to do things a bit differently because there are quite a few surprises in the story today and in Scruffy Church TV. And we, as a family, we watch Joe Wicks. We do our workout with Joe Wicks every day. So I thought, why don't we do what that fellow YouTuber does and have a bit of a bit of a workout? I say fellow YouTuber, he has two and a half million people, we have a hundred, but that doesn't matter. We're both on YouTube. So everybody stand up, no matter where you are, no matter how old you are, stand up. And we're gonna do a bit of a scruffy workout before we start. Everybody praise God, praise God, praise God. Everybody praise God, just like me. Now clap your hands, everybody. Ground on the ground, on the ground, clap your hands on the ground, just like 
down. Be nice and quiet, be nice and still. Everybody sit down. We're going to pray. Loving God, thank you that you are with us in our jumping and in our quiet. Help us as we worship you in Scruffy Church TV to find out more about your love for us and for everyone and help us to love you more. In Jesus' name. Amen! Back to normal now. It's the Scruffy Church TV song. Come on, everybody, let's sing this song together. Right, here we go. Scruffy Church TV. Sometime on a Sunday or any day, I know where I'll be. Watching my computer or iPad to see Scruffy TV. It's Scruffy Scruffy Church. Woo! Scruffy Scruffy Church. Woo! Scruffy Scruffy. things that we looked at that we had to get at the beginning of Scruffy Church TV. We're going to make something now. Now remember last week we had a look at human plan and a crazy plan. Human plan, crazy plan. This is how Oscar and Felix like doing human plan, crazy plan. Let's have a look at them. Crazy plan, human plan, 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 crazy plan. Crazy plan, human plan, crazy plan. <laughs> That's brilliant. Now, this is what we're going to do. We're going to make our own human plan, crazy plan. So you can just use a piece of paper like that and write on it, but I'm going to, I'm going to cut something out. I'm going to like make like a table tennis bat, like that. And cut it out. Again, get a grown up to cut it out for you. If you haven't got safety scissors, and if you don't normally cut something out, there we go. You can do any shape you like. It doesn't have to be what I'm doing, but you can if you like. There we go. And on one side, we're going to take our normal colour. So I'm going to take black and I'm going to write human. Human. That's for human plan. And on the other side, I'm going to write crazy. And very quickly, I'm going to go around that so you can read it properly. Human plan, crazy plan. People think that God is far away and that we have to try really hard to get God to love us. That's what a human plan is, but the crazy plan is that God loves us so much and is always so, I'm going to do this as well, always so ready to come to us and to tell us how much that we are loved. Human plan, crazy plan. There we go. That's great. And we're going to need this in our story. Right, in the story, it's a story for everybody to join in. So what we need to do, the first thing, you get your hands like this, and we're gonna do on our knees like that. 
It's like a train. So there's a train journey in the story. The second thing we're going to do is we're going to imagine a big bag of money. And when it's shaken, we're going to go ka-ching, ka-ching, ka-ching. Hey, everybody. Ka-ching, ka-ching, ka-ching. And the final thing, when somebody in the story says, what do you say? You say, A-OK. -okay. What do you say? A-OK. -okay. But there are lots of other ways you can join in the story. So listen out and see if you can join in with everything in the story. Now, a couple of weeks ago, I had a couple of friends help me called Aid and Grandad. And I think that they said they were going to be in the programme today, but I can't see them anywhere. I don't know where they are. Uh, maybe they're... Ah! <laughs> hey, hello! <laughs> aid! Or visual aid. Yeah, visual aid, that's me. And I'm Grandad. Hello! Lovely to see you, spiffadoodles. Yes, well, we're going to have a story today. Oh, fantastic. Uh, has it got three people in it? Yes, it has. Uh, what am I going to be? Well... It's a kind of a hero in it. Oh, I love being heroes. Look at my hero face. Yeah, okay, you can be the hero. Great, what's the hero's name? Well, he doesn't really have a name, he's just the sun. Oh, okay, I'll be the sun. Good, okay, uh, and what about me? Well, um, in this story, there's a very rich and powerful man. Oh, that's me, I'm very rich and very powerful. Well, I wish I was anyway. Anyway, here we are, here's my uh, rich and powerful face. Oh, good, and uh, what's my name? Well. You don't really have a name either, you're the father. So, uh, the father, the son, are you the Holy Spirit? <laughs> no, I I'm going to be the other son. Oh, and, and the other son is, is a bit, well, he's a bit sulky. Oh, and, uh, and I'm gonna play somebody else who's a bit dodgy. <laughs> well, you're absolutely perfect then, Philip. <laughs> Listen, do you wanna do the story? Yeah. Okay, here's the story. Once upon a time, there was a very rich farmer who had a big farm. Oh, that's me, I love my farm. And he had two sons. And the two sons loved working on the farm. Now on the farm, there were lots of cows. Could you cow noises? Moo, oh, that's very moo. <laughs> very, very, very good. And there were lots of sheep. <laughs> yeah, very good sheep, good sheep. And there were lots of pigs. <laughs> very good pig. Yeah, pig, very good pig. <laughs> and there were lots of rabbits. Yeah, do. There were lots of animals on the farm and there was lots of land too. And the two sons went out every day into the fields and they worked on the land. Hey, what? Should we do our working on the land song? Oh, well, all right then. <clears throat> working on the land is the thing I'm loving. Working on the land is the thing I'm loving. Working on the land is the thing I'm loving. Whoa, whoa, working on the land. Yeah, well, <clears throat> actually, um, I'm getting a bit bored of this. What? I'm getting a bit bored of working on the land. We do it every day, day in and day out. I want to go to the city. I want to eat pizza. I'm going to go and talk to Dad. Dad, what is it, son? Uh, you know you're very rich, yes? And you know that when you die, I'm going to have half your money. Well, yes. Well, I want it now. What? I want that money now. Please. Oh, OK. And the dad picked up a huge bag of money and gave it to him. Right, let's see how much is in there. Ready? Ka-ching, ka-ching, ka-ching. Oh, thanks a lot, Dad. Bye. Oh, well, bye-bye. The son got on a train. This is where we're going to do our, our slapping our legs for the, the train noise. Are you ready? Here we go. I've got money in my pocket. Whoa, whoa, I've got a ticket in my jeans. Whoa, I'm going to the city. Whoa, to find the biggest pizza there's ever been. Whoa, I'm going to have a really good time. Whoa, friends, fun, food is what it means. He's going to live a life that's in his dreams. Yeah. So the sun arrived in the big city. Whoa, what a big city. And I know nobody. But suddenly he saw a stranger. Ooh, oh, all right, mate. Uh, oh, look, strange clothes. I see a stranger. Ooh. <gasps> strange voice. I see a foreigner. Yeah. What's that in your hand? Ka-ching, ka-ching, ka-ching. Big bag of money. I see 
friend. <laughs> You'll be my friend. Oh yeah, just you know, all of these people are going to be your friend as well, ain't we? Oh, well that's really nice. Uh, do you know anywhere I can get a pizza? Do I know anywhere you can get a pizza? <laughs> Yeah, that's what I asked. Well, yeah, yeah, I do. We all know, don't we, where we can get a pizza. Well, why don't we go and have a really fun evening and have pizza? What do you say? A-okay. What do you say? A-okay. And they all went out and they had the most amazing night with a massive pizza. Yum, 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 yum. The next night, all his friends came round again. Oh, fantastic. Can we find an even bigger pizza? Oh, I'm sure we can. Let's go then. What do you say? A-OK. -okay. And they had a great night. They were dancing. They were having fun. And at the end, they had an even bigger pizza. The next night, they all gathered together again. How's the money? Oh. Ka-ching, ka-ching, ka-ching. Let's have another night. Yeah, do you know an even bigger pizza? And I know an even bigger pizza. <laughs> Let's go. What do you say? A-OK. -okay. And off they went. They had a really fantastic night. And an even bigger pizza. <laughs> this went on for a few weeks. But one night as they gathered, um, everybody, yes, uh, my friends, yes, I'm afraid I've got a bit of bad news for you. Oh, what's that? Well, I've run out of money. Oh, but it doesn't matter because we can have a nice walk down by the river and then we can sit and have a nice chat. Uh, what do you say? No way, Jose. And all his friends left him. Oh no, I'm alone in the big city. The poor son had no money, no friends, no food but he did get a job on a farm feeding pigs. This is crazy. The people on my father's farm have got more money and food than I've got. I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna apologize to my father and I hope he'll take me on as a servant and I can live with the pigs. <sighs> and started to walk home through the hot days and through the cold nights. <laughs> he walked home, practicing what he was going to say. Oh, Dad, I'm really sorry. Um, um, now I'm home. Please, can I be a servant on your farm? Meanwhile, back at the farm, the poor father had been pacing up and down ever since his son had left. Oh, I'm so worried. But then one morning, his father looked out of the window and there, in the distance, was his son. I'm really sorry, Dad. Uh, I'm really sorry. And then, oh, 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 son, son, son! Oh, oh, son, Dad, son, Dad. And they hugged each other so much. Oh, Dad, I'm really sorry. Don't, 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 don't say anything. I'm so glad you're home, son. Let's have a party. What? The other son appeared. It's not fair! Oh, but son, you have always got everything that I have. My son was lost and now he's home. He was gone away and now he's found. Party! <laughs> I love that story. That's a real human plan crazy plan story. I mean, when the son asked his dad for all that money, it was like he was saying, I wish you were dead. That's how a human plan would see it. But the crazy thing was, his father was generous and gave him the money. And he wasted all his money and he wanted forgiveness. That's what the human plan is. But the crazy plan was the father welcomed him home and gave him a massive party. The human plan was that the son would grovel and be really, really sorry and work with the pigs. But the crazy plan was that the father ran to meet him. And in Jesus' time, people would have said, that's crazy.
gypsy, somebody who's rich, somebody who's powerful would never run, especially not to meet someone who they were really cross with. But Jesus says that's how God loves us. God runs to meet us because God loves us all so much. That's the crazy plan of God's love. God doesn't know anything about social distancing when it comes to love. God is with us and loves us all so much. We're going to sing a new song on Scruffy Church TV now. And the good thing is that three of the lines of this song are the same. So it goes like this. I'll sing the first two lines. Jesus, Jesus, here I am. Jesus, Jesus, take my hand. Let's try that together. Jesus, Jesus, here I am. Jesus, Jesus, take my hand. Next line. You give to everyone a love that won't end. Let's sing that together. You give to everyone a love that won't end. Last line's the same as the first line. Thank you, Jesus. You're my friend. Thank you, Jesus. You're my friend. Let's sing that all the way through. Jesus, Jesus, here. is with us. God loves us and runs to meet us. Time to get all of those things that we got now for our prayer time. So the blanket and the seesaw and the heavy thing, a tin of beans and a pencil and we're going to go into our prayer room. Now the one thing I forgot to tell you <laughs> but this is scruffy church so it doesn't make any difference is you need a piece of paper as well so i need a piece of paper let's shut the door go into your room says jesus when you pray and close the door so i've got a, a, a scruffy bit of paper here so there we are that's my scruffy bit of paper just get a piece of paper you can stop the video if you like and we're going to make our seesaw and the heavy thing at one end. Now, the other thing I've forgotten is to get my book. So just have a look at the candle a moment whilst I go and get my book. Maybe you can just practice that song again. I love Scruffy Church TV because things sometimes go wrong, but they don't really go wrong. They just go differently from how we imagined that they would be. But that doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. So, get your piece of paper and your pencil. And what we're going to do is going to rip some pieces of paper. Now, what I imagine that we're at this end of the seesaw and that God is at this end of the seesaw. Now, that's God and God's love. And we don't have to try and persuade God to love us. So we can pray. That's a really good thing. We can pray and we can read the Bible. And that's a brilliant thing to do, to read all about God's love for us. And we can be really, really good and kind and helpful and forgiving. And we can even say sorry. We can say sorry all we like. And that's a good thing to do as well. But all of these things don't make God love us. 
God runs to us. And the seesaw tips down because God chooses to love us. All of these things are great, but God's love for us is something that God wants. Now take your blanket. That's it. And we're going to wrap up with your, if you're with other people, you can all snuggle up together on a sofa and wrap your blanket around you. If you're on your own, it doesn't matter. You know that there are other people who are going to be praying with you. And we're going to look at that lovely card that someone gave me the other day. Kate and Josh and Sonny and Arlo gave me that. So, so thank you, card. I'm just thinking, if you look at that candle flame, and there's another candle there. That candle flame gives its flame away to that candle, but it stays the same. And you could light that candle so many times, but the flame doesn't go away. Just one more. And that's like God's love. God gives and gives and gives. And God's love never gets any smaller. So let's just think about our family and our friends. And we're thankful for all that you give us, loving God. And in the Bible, the rainbow is a sign of God's faithfulness, that God always keeps his promise to love us and to care for us. And we pray for all those who are looking after us at the moment, all the people who work in the health and in schools. We pray for all the teachers and staff in schools and the people who are teaching us at home. And we pray for everybody who's producing food for us and delivering it or serving us and for our councils and our government, for the police and the ambulance service and the fire service and the armed services as well. Thank you for all the people who keep us in touch with one another. And we remember that God's love is stronger than everything. We pray for those people we know who are ill. And we're going to pray for Sophie, especially today, who's not very well. and She lives on her own. But just think about the people you want to pray for. We pray for people who miss other people, who miss their families and their friends. We pray for people who are in care homes, for older people who miss their families. And we pray for those who are missing friends or family who have died. We pray for Amanda and Caroline and their mum, Betty, who is very, very old. She died and we're going to have the funeral this week. So we pray for them. And we pray for our friends, Martin and Jane, as well, as they said farewell to Mary this week. And we remember that at Easter, Jesus rises from the tomb to show that love wins. Love is stronger than everyone. And we pray for our world and that our world would be healed too. just have a moment of quiet for you to pray for whoever or whatever you'd like and as you're wrapped up in your blanket know that you're wrapped up in God's love and now we're going to pray the prayer that Jesus taught us our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Now you can...
take your blanket off if you like, or you can keep it on as we go back to sing our final song together. I wonder if India's gonna be out here today. Oh, no, she's not out here, but you can see her. She's down there, look, in her basket. There's India. <laughs> Hello, India. She likes being on Scruffy Church TV. Right, let's sing our last song together. We are going to sing a song we haven't sung before on Scruffy Church TV. And it's one of my favourites. So let's sing this song together. One more step along the world. Here we go. wonderful sharing this Scruffy Church TV service with you. Don't forget if you want to write to us, there's our address, scruffy at stephensbath.org.uk and that's our website, www.stephensbath.org.uk. You can write to us there or send us your videos or your pictures, whatever you'd like. We'd love to hear from you here on Scruffy Church TV. So as always, we have our hands like this. We reach out, feel the warmth of God's love for you. Feel that warmth and now place it here. May your love, O oh Lord, warm me and help me to love others, to love you and to love myself as you do. In Jesus' name, amen. Thanks to Lizzie for being on the camera again. Thanks to you for joining us. We've had a great time together. See you next week on Scruffy Church TV. Come on, everybody. Let's hear the Scruffy TV song. Sometime on a Sunday or any day, I know where I'll be. Watching my computer or iPad to see Scruffy TV. It's Scruffy, Scruffy. Scruffy Church TV!